Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how you can install BL Touch on your Ender V32 printer. So I have ordered one from Novo3D.in. So this BL Touch is a third party BL Touch. It is not Reality's original BL Touch but it works perfectly fine. So let me unbox it. So this vendor is from India and uh, I bought this PL Touch for around 1800 INR and this is invoice this is the actual device so they include their visiting card so I will share a picture of this and also the contact number of Novo 3D so you can also place order on WhatsApp or from their official site the first thing we get in the box is the device which is uh, BL Touch 3.0 and then there's a small pouch which contains the springs and the screw to mount the BL Touch and third thing is the wire the jumper wire so the length of wire is not much so but yeah it is sufficient just for our printer but you have to just manage it it would have been great if they have included a single wire with all five wires joint okay so let's take out the device out of the pouch one thing keep in mind the color combination of the jumper wire is different than the wires attached with the PL touch so please follow the instruction which I will explain you in few minutes and uh, make sure the color combination should be exactly same which I will be using. Let's print the mount for RBL Touch. So there are multiple BL Touch mounts available on different sides. So the one which I have selected is adjustable. So you can just adjust the height of the BL Touch. I have shared the link in the video description. You can go there and download it. I'm going to print this on 100% speed which is the normal speed of Fender V2 so there are two parts of this mount so one is printed and uh, we'll do the fast forward or skip the part of printing Now let's attach the BL touch to the mount. So these are the two parts and uh, before mounting and just let me take out the screws and the springs. This is an adjustable mount. The height can be adjusted as per the requirement. So I am going to uh, put as of now the maximum height. So there are holes where you have to put the screws and mount the BL touch. So you can push the mount and uh, make sure it should be on the maximum height and later on if required you can adjust it. So let me quickly put the screws and uh, the springs. Tight both the screws simultaneously with the screwdriver and make sure the BL touch should not move easily so it should be tight enough to hold with the mount. Before installing it into the printer I would remove the display for the safety purpose because we may need to move the printer or tilt the printer. To avoid any damage, I would recommend to remove the display and the display mount. 
so now the next step is to remove the cover from the motherboard so there are three screws on the bottom and one on the top on this cover so you can use the LK which came along with the printer in the toolkit make sure when you are going to remove the cover the fan is attached with the cover and it is plugged into the motherboard so before removing the cover unplug the fan from the board then only remove it so this is the one screw which is on the top which i am just removing now and this is how you have to unplug the fan and uh, just keep the cover on the i'm removing the display adapter to make space for the bl touch connector so the white connector is for the bl touch so now just follow the same color combination which i have used to connect the bl touch so this is the first plug which contains white and black wire and then the other wire which contains three jumper wires make sure it should be tight enough it should not get unplugged easily and this is the combination you have to use when you are going to connect it with the BL touch wires so let me show you this parallelly you can pause the video and uh, have a proper look on these connections make sure before closing the cover plug the display port and the fan port and also put one tie cable tie on the wire so it should not be get pulled easily it should be tight enough so now I'm going to close the cover so let me plug the fan plug first I'm just pushing it with the L key and also I'm plugging the display port I have closed the cover now let's move to the next part which is mounting the BL touch to mount the BL touch you have to lose the screw all the LKs are available in the toolkit which came along with the printer there is enough space to insert the mount so now you have to tie the screw again once it is mounted correctly it should be tight enough to hold the mount properly and it should not move easily and also you have to check it should be straight Once it is tight enough to hold the mount, add another cable tie on the wires.
if required you can tighten the screws on the BL touch to make sure it should be straight and should not be tilted to any angle if required you can also adjust the height but for my printer this is fine you can add more cable ties on the top part of the wire so as of now i am just keeping it like that only and after the connections are finished you can just again add the display mount and connect the display with your printer the next part is to update the firmware of your printer the firmware one which come along with the printer out of the box doesn't support the bl touch drivers so make sure the firmware which you are using should have the bl touch support this is creality's official site from here you can download the firmware you i have tried the uh, firmware with adapter board and without adapter board but it didn't work so i found an alternative way to make bl touch work so there is another site smith3d.com from here you can get a custom firmware for your ender 3v2 so this is the firmware Merlin firmware and it contains a driver for BL touch and also this link explains how to install the BL touch and uh, what is the wire combination color combination you need to use and also it, it contains the STL file for mount this is the link for STL mount And in these pictures you can see there are two type of PL touch one is third party extension cable pin setup and this is a original BL touch from Creality so I have used a third party so I have used the same combination which is explained here so they have released another version which is alpha build so I haven't tried this so uh, even I would suggest you to use this one which is a stable version of firmware so after installing a new software you will be able to see a new option on the fourth box thumbnail which is level so this is the option for auto leveling and also in prepare you will be able to see some extra options like offset Z offset tool, ox leveling and other things. So I will explain these all in separate video. So as of now, so you can see once I start the leveling thing, the bed is moving and uh, the beer touch is working perfectly fine. I hope you like the video and it is useful to you. For more videos, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the notifications.